Hello and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be creating three looks using Tucana from Divina Cosmetics. I've been wanting to make this kind of video for a while. Let me know if you would like to see this as a series with other multi-chromes. And the reason I chose Tucana for this video is because it does have more of a sheer base to it. So you can really just play around with layering it over different kinds of matte eyeshadows from lighter shades and easy kind of one and done looks to layering it for more of a smoky eye. So I'm going to be doing just that. So for the first look, I'm just going to be using one matte eyeshadow and Tucana to show you kind of like a almost one done type of look with just a really light matte in the crease. And I just love these kinds of multi-chromes that are a bit more versatile in that sense compared to um, multi-chromes that have like a black base where they just kind of, you what you see is what you get and you don't really get to uh, really control them too, too much. Dipping into this Viseart palette, the neutral mattes, and I'm going to be picking up this shadow right here. And I'm just going to pop that right into the crease and slowly kind of blend it up. And then blend it out here and I'm actually going to dip into one of these their lighter shades I think I'm going to use this one right here but the goal of this look is really to just keep it really nice and light you could even go in with a much lighter uh, neutral matte in the crease if you wanted to and I'm purposely leaving my lid pretty much more or less blank so I'm not going to be deepening out this outer corner which you know is such a habit for me at this point I'm going to put down some Fernet Pixie Epoxy and it's going down all over the lid and I'm just tapping it out. Picked up Tucana on the Refer 21 brush and I'm just going to put that all over the lid. And this one just blends so nicely. And I'm just going to also use this brush sideways to blend it up into the matte. And there you have it. There is like a really nice just a one and done look. You can also go and take the matte shadow down underneath if you wanted to, but I'm actually going to be leaving it like this. And here's the shift. So, so for the second look, I wanna bring out more of the kind of pinkier tone of the shadow when you look at it straight on. So I'm gonna be dipping into the Editorial Brights palette from Viseart. I'm gonna be taking this bright, bright pink. And it's just going to go right into my crease. And I'm using circular motions to really blend out the edges. I'm gonna wipe off my brush just a little bit so I don't have as much product on it. And then going back into the editorial brace palette, I'm gonna dip into this shade right here. I'm just gonna bring a little bit of that shadow. And I'm gonna bring it down just a tiny bit, but also right in, into the crease. This is a predominantly pinkier kind of look. Taking a clean brush and just going over the edges of that. Again, you could bring it down below if you wanted to. And then I'm going to put on some of the Fernet Pixie Epoxy again and just tap it out all over the lid. Dip to kind of on the Refer 21 brush and putting that all over. And again, kind of bringing it up into the crease and just working it in there so it's nice and blended out no harsh edge and that definitely brought out quite a bit of the pink so you can kind of see in comparison you can definitely see still a lot of the pink but it kind of neutralizes out as you kind of tilt your head and you can really see the shift here so here's the second look with Tucana And for the third look, I'm going to be dipping into the Vizier Neutral Mattes Milieu Palette. And I'm going to be basically using, I'm going to be dipping into this orange shade. And I'm going to be deepening it up with this shade. And I might dip into the other neutral matte palette, into the black to really deepen it up. So first, going in with that orange. And then I'm going to use that um, kind of mustardy yellow right next to that to help blend this out. So now I'm playing off of the more yellow tones from that shade. And then I'm going to dip into the darker brown with a smaller brush. This is the Hakuhodo J5529 brush. And the other brush I was using in the crease is the 14 brush from Refer. So I'm going to be dipping into the shade right here. And it's going to go onto the outer corner, but I'm also going to be bringing it 
all over the lid, but first I want to kind of work on working it into the crease and then I'm going to be working on layering it and putting some more down. So I picked up the brown on a more of a shader brush and it's going to go right all over the lid. And then going into the other neutral palette from Viseart and I'm just taking that black shadow and just tapping it on the outer corner to just further deepen it up. And then I'm going to go back in with the Hakuhodo brush and just further blend it out. Putting down some Fairnay Pixie Epoxy, you know the drill. And just tapping it out. Refer 21 brush and Tucana. And it's just getting layered all over. And just a little bit more. You could kind of pack it on a bit more or you could really just go in with a very light hand. Just get a wash. And so here's the third smokier look. So let me know in the comments below what you thought of this kind of video. Is this helpful to you? Do you want to see some other shadows? And if so, which multi-chrome shadows would you like to see in this format? And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time.